My name is Neha Rajana and I'm an applied scientist on the personalization team at Amazon. My work involves using customer behavior data to guide hypothesis-driven experimentation, running a lot of A-B tests and developing highly personalized recommendation experiences. We really try to understand customer pain points during their shopping journey on Amazon and trying to show them relevant products at the right time. Hello. Ravid aside, I'm part of Central ICT, which is responsible for pricing all the products of Amazon worldwide. My name is Antonia and I'm a data scientist at Amazon. I'm part of the Machine Learning Solutions Lab team. We're partnering up with customers on all different levels, be it business or technical level, trying to understand their business and their problems and challenges they may face, and how we can solve these challenges with state-of-the-art solutions in fields of machine learning and especially deep learning. Hello, my name is Carl Morris and I'm a research scientist with Amazon Go. We build optimization models, machine learning models, and use artificial intelligence to try and learn how we can make that experience a little bit better. I actually have two favorite leadership principles. Learn and be curious to constantly keep learning about the state of the art in research and applying it to my domain, which is recommendation systems. Dive deep because really trying to dig into customer behavior data on the website helps us create better recommendation systems for them. Customer obsession is the leadership principle that I apply all the time during my job at Amazon. To give an example, when last year pandemic came, customers were searching for the items that they needed in the pandemic. And that helped me build the ML models to prevent price gouging on such essential items. I love how I get to improve customers' day-to-day -day experiences. It's really what got me into science in the beginning. It's the ability to use my interest in math and science toward making the world a little bit of a better place. The most exciting part about the future of AI and machine learning is actually that we have no idea what's going to be feasible. The future is a great unknown and thinking outside of the box might sound silly sometimes, but it might be possible in a, in a couple of years.